Hey everyone, I'm your new drift buddy, Trifid is he. When I first rolled into the garage, I was more rust than car. My owner took one look at me and decided to play surgeon. He was in an old army shovel and the cheapest welder money could buy to patch me up. Now I'm part car, part shovel, and 100% ready to drift my way into a wall. Woo! Bitch. Work faster. It's not good enough. I expect free labor from now on. Big on the drift car, goddamn. Mechanic power. Get it? Yeah. Right. Enhance. Enhance. You look like you know what you're doing. Enhance. Just. There's a net spider in, but it's together, though. <laughs> Turns out it's really good. It's just melting a hole through it. Do these guys think they can drift? They won't even make it to the track, man. Let's step this up a level. I've tied it up and I've set up a workstation. Feels like the Z's gonna be on these stands for a long time. I've made a start getting everything sealed using a bitumous paint wherever it doesn't need welding. But in order to continue, I need to drop the rear subframe so I can access and refresh everything. I've taken out what remained of the rear support bracket bolts. I just need to remove the main nut connecting to the chassis when I'm ready. We needed to take off the W brace under here, but it doesn't have one. It saved me a job, but it kind of needs replacing to stop tramping. I've been lubing the nuts up for a couple of days with some WD-40 as well, letting them soak. I've removed the calipers as not to open up the brake line system and used cable just to tie them out of the way like this. I've also supported the front end, so when I take the rear subframe out, it's likely going to want to tip forwards. This should prevent me from a tragic incident. And with this idiot, that's highly likely. <laughs> so with the exhaust, drive shaft and handbrake cables disconnected, I'm now able to start to remove the rear subframe using my trusty 4-ton Mega Jack. I've had this thing for years. I might even paint it. So, after trying to use a cheap impact wrench, I soon realised that I really needed to do it by hand. By this I mean feeling for the bind, backing off to clear the crust, etc. I call it the 4-2 method. Four rotations forward, two rotations backwards. Basically, it's crucial we don't snap or ruin these bolts. Ah, Jesus Christ. And there we are. Here's the rear support bracket. Do you think it's savable? I do. Here's the other side for the old Rust Hub fans. So next up is these bad mama jumbas. Hey, my little weakling, take a nap. Don't drool this time, though. This thing's an upset waste of money. Come, I'm doing not if it tried. I got the nut off. Thank God. I think the uh, man of the match here is the WD-40, definitely. Let's see what happens. <laughs> I've got a pull 
jack out anyway, because that's not going to come out otherwise. I think we're all right. to get out of it. That's the hard part then. My legs! What did you do to my legs? Go on then, let's have a butcher's at underneath. It don't look too bad. There's no gaping holes yet. The petrol tank seems okay. I've been looking at others and they all have this like bent flap on the edge too. Overall though, everything does seem good, apart from this heat shield or whatever it is. It's, it's smoked anyway. So I feel, to finish off today's session, I gave it a wash, so I could like, let it dry overnight basically. I'm not working in a pot. I did try to use some degreaser, but it didn't really make much difference. I think it's like tyres that are stuck to it, you know what I mean? I'm not really bothered. Crud's off. Don't forget to wash your driveway after, to stop the fluff's paws melting off, in it. They'll immediately want to sail through it. Trust me. So this is me rust pile. And this is me cat eating a dinner. Next you'll be telling me you're gonna bleach my asshole. Ooh, holy This wire wheel is kicking ass. Four pound and it still looks like new. But I'm gonna try a cookie wheel because I kinda want like a more level surface. But I need to take these brackets off so it'll fit in. This is probably saveable. It's fairly chunky, isn't it? So now I've finished the driver's side, we also need to do the same for the passenger side. This one looks like a chocolate brownie. So under closer inspection on the passenger side, there's definitely some welding that needs to be done. It was a lot bigger than I first thought, so time to get the big guns out. After five minutes of wire wheeling, I've managed to chase back the undercoat back to fresh metal. You can see it's a skin layer, so it should be quite a fun fix this one. Just slap it on top and paint some metal on. I dug out a little more rust to find the chassis rail that carries the subframe. It's perfectly okay. This is good news, which means we can fix it. My eyes are literally burning. There's so much crap in them. Oh my gosh. It's not a fun job. After three hours of arm killing work, it was finally time for some bitumen paint. I think we've hit our first milestone, boys. Woo! Look how much paint I used. There's about a pound's worth at the minute. Perfect. Well, she does look a little scabby, but rather than grinding metal back and losing strength, I've just cleaned it just to seal it. It's a thrash car, remember? I would highly recommend getting some of these wire toothbrushes. They're super handy for tight spots and cleaning bolts. The paint only got me once too. Whee. So now that's cleared, I need to think about dropping the petrol tank so that I can carry this on all the way to the front. We've come this far, and it's simple stuff. If you're unfit like me, and need a gym, consider a rusty old resto project. I feel like I've done 10 rounds with Tyson. I literally fell asleep for 9 hours after this. 
If you've made it this far, thank you very much. It means a lot, it really does. It takes a lot of effort to make these episodes, as you could imagine. So, I've set myself the task of making 10 episodes with this 350Z. If they don't flow, I'll stop making them. So what I need from you guys is your support. I'm not asking for any money, just a like on this video if you enjoyed it, and subscribe if you're keen to see more. As a black sheep animator, I can promise you, these episodes will be like nothing you've ever seen before. I'd love to take this formula further, but I need your help. Everybody we asked agreed. Yeah, you I agree, man. I agree. I agree. Brother, I agree with you. I agree. Well, your customs makes the sickest, trickiest boxes ever to grace Mother Earth. Store things like the squirrel you yearn to be. Whale Jaw Customs, baby. The you didn't know you needed. Whale Jaw Customs.